Hi, and welcome to the Little Miss Party How to Host series. Today we're going to show you how to host a bridal shower using the Little Miss Shower Party in a Box. There's so many ways to host a bridal shower. You can have a brunch, you can have a cocktail party. We're going to have a garden party in the backyard and it will be a sit down lunch. First step in planning your party is the menu and your shopping list. Then we're going to head out and collect all of our ingredients. I'm always on the lookout for great recipes and inspiration. If I come across an idea for a dish, whether it's online or in one of my favorite magazines, I save it. I love having a reference for how to present the food beautifully for my guests. It's very important to consider the season you're hosting in. You want to make sure your grocery store will have all of your ingredients in stock before you plan the menu. Since it's summer, we're lucky enough to have the farmer's market at our disposal for the freshest ingredients. We love supporting our local farms and we always trust that they will have a wonderful selection. For my menu today, I'm going to serve a few appetizers and a really delicious lunch, followed by a platter of fresh fruit. To start, I've got an appetizer that's so easy to make, so delicious, and can sit out with any temperature. What you're going to need is a terracotta pot. If you don't have one at home, they're super inexpensive at your local craft or hardware store. In your Little Miss Shower Party in a Box, you will see some crinkle that we use for packaging. Take some of that crinkle and stuff it into your pot to use as a base for what's coming next. I found some waffle cones at the grocery store and I'm filling them with mixed nuts. I'm going to carefully put them into the pot so that the cones don't break and then I'm going to set them out on the table for my guests to enjoy. Now we've got to prep all of our ingredients for lunch. We've got some really great recipes to share and I'm going to walk you through how to make each one. Next we're going to prep the summer corn salad. Start by putting a pot of water on the stove to boil. While you're waiting for the water to heat, start slicing the corn off the cob and set aside into a large bowl. Take your asparagus and your green beans and chop all into small pieces. Put the greens into the boiling water for three minutes and turn the heat down to a simmer. While the greens are on the stove, chop up a few slices of roasted red peppers. Strain the beans and shock with cold water to stop the cooking process. Then add the corn to the same pot of boiling water and cook for three minutes, followed by the same process as the beans, where you strain and shock with cold water. Combine all the veggies, add the dressing, and hand toss everything in the bowl. Set aside in the fridge until your guests arrive. Our next step is to prep the potato salad. Fill a large pot with cold water. Chop your potatoes and add to the water, then put onto the stove and bring to a high boil. While the potatoes are on the stove, chop your red onion and set aside in a bowl. Now slice your lemon in half, then chop up your green apples. Squeeze the lemons over the apples and add to the bowl of onions. Once your potatoes are done boiling, get your chopped pecans ready and slice up some basil so it's ready to top off the salad. Combine the strained potatoes in a bowl with onions and apples, add your vinegar, oil and seasoning. Finally, top it off with your basil and nuts before tossing. Now it's time to set the table up before finalizing the food and drinks. I love going right into my own garden in the summer to pick up fresh flowers for the table. Then of course I'm going to use my Little Miss Shower Party in a Box for easy and stylish tableware. To make sure the paper plates don't blow away outside, I decided to use real silverware to weight them down. I set the bar with our shatterproof wine cups and rose gold straws so they're ready for the guests right when they walk in. I finish up the table setting by adding my fresh flowers to the bud vases before heading back inside for final food and drink prep. Finally, let's prep the appetizers so they're perfectly fresh when our guests arrive. To make the deviled eggs, chop your pre-hard boiled eggs in half. Carefully scoop out the yolks and place them into a bowl, setting the whites onto a platter of fresh greens. Next, make your filling using the yolks and mayo before adding to a plastic bag to pipe into your hollow eggs. Top the eggs with paprika and basil and refrigerate until your guests arrive. Prep the potato chip bites by slicing some cherry tomatoes, adding a dab of ranch dressing to each chip, and then topping with the tomatoes and a piece of arugula. Finally, prep your fruit platter and set in the fridge until you're ready to serve. So for my bar, I'm going to serve a limeade vodka slushy as a signature drink. 
Not everyone may want to drink that, so I've got some other options to offer my guests when they arrive. I've got champagne, white wine, rosé, and sparkling water. Of course, we'll have plenty of water on hand as well to keep everyone hydrated. Now my signature drink is ready to serve, so I'm going to set my appetizers on the table so they're ready for when my guests walk in. I will greet my guests with drinks at the bar cart so we can toast the bride and celebrate. What a perfect day for a bridal shower, and the prep was so easy. Thanks for joining us today for our bridal shower how to host episode. Cheers!